Hello everyone, Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts, and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. This one is going to be all about my Slow Stitch Collaboration Block Swap um, partner, Loretta, for January. She was assigned me for January, so this is my block from her. I was asked to participate in a slow stitch collaboration circle of friends. Uh, Susanna is the lovely lady who has coordinated this for all of us. And what we are supposed to do each month, one of us is assigned a different person to swap with. So we are supposed to use their favorite colors and then, but in our style. And I love that. It's so cool. So obviously you guys can tell <laughs> I let them know purple is my favorite color. And um, we kind of had like a base template to um, not follow like per se, but to just kind of give us like a little bit of an idea so something kind of circular like with some flowers leaves you know that kind of a thing and then something stitched in the center so this is the first block I received for January and it is from Loretta Allen and um, she had included her business card so of course I'll have all of her social media information linked below and her business card is very adorable so um, make sure you check the description box so you can go see YouTube and an Instagram account so I think that's amazing I'm all about supporting small um, business owners things like that because I'm one myself so definitely go check out Loretta and I will be doing the same Loretta's too so we were asked to as I mentioned create the, the block and then we could include um, extras of the fabrics and different things that we used on the block it's not required of course just mostly due to the um, cost of shipping because some of the swap partners are international and I am so distracted by looking at this purple beautiful purple block <laughs> So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll show you the goodies um, after we take a peek at this gorgeous, gorgeous block. So pretty. All of the stitching and embroidery is just beautiful. And I love these little yo-yos or Suffolk puffs, depending on what you want to call them. Purple buttons on there. Little sequins. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful. And I've been being selfish and not showing you guys. Sorry. <laughs> So isn't this just lovely? It is so beautiful. All of her stitching is just impeccable. Loretta, your stitching is just amazing. Just beautiful. And I love the back sides too because I love that visual texture on the back. There's, uh, looks like, yeah, this is some tatting right there. It's like each time I look at this, I find something I didn't see the first time. But oh my goodness, this is absolutely beautiful. I am so excited to be a part of this collaboration. I just, I love it. So we'll put that beautiful block up here and then take a peek at the extra. So I love this eyelash trim. Of course, it's all beautiful purples and lavenders. I love it. And then we have, I'm trying to take a peek at this. I haven't looked at this stuff since I packed it. So pardon me for not showing you guys immediately. Isn't that just beautiful? I don't have any trim like that. None at all. These will be used in my personal projects because it's purple. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she included even an extra piece of that tatting. So did you do this tatting yourself? That is um, something I do not know how to do, but it is absolutely beautiful. I know it's a lot, a lot of work to do that. And there's some beautiful lace there. And here's another piece, just beautiful. And then we have a doily, um, a vintage doily. And I love these. They're so cute and so sweet. Oh my goodness, I found some more purple stuff I've never seen before. Look at this. Isn't that just awesome? It's like this um, netting with purple threading on there. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my gosh, this would be so pretty, like as a, on a sleeve. I wish my wedding dress could have been um, made out of this. I've been so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, and now we will go through the fabric scraps that she included for me. Um, this, of course, is what's on the block. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I need to know where you got this fabric because I need like five yards. And I'm not even joking. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I need to find out where this fabric came from because I need some more. This, this would make beautiful curtains for my new future craft room. So that is absolutely beautiful. That's definitely going in the hoard vault so I can take it out and look at it and pet it. <laughs> This is really pretty too. Some sweet little leaves, like little leaf clusters on there. So cool. Oh, and here's a larger piece of that same purple, which is great because I'm working on, slowly working on a purple kind of junk journal for myself. And so I'm definitely going to be including these fabrics in there. Some polka dot there. So not only will um, the journal, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by this fabric too. So what's going to be really neat about the personal purple junk journal I'm going to be making myself is that um, when I incorporate these different fabrics and little scraps in that journal I'm going to be reminded of the ladies in the slow stitch collab 2022 that I'm a part of so you know I'll think of Loretta when I use these pieces and flip through my journal oh my goodness <gasps> be still my heart look at this beautiful fabric too how can you guys not love purples if you don't I just don't get it <laughs> it is just so beautiful 
Oh my gosh, I'd love to have more of this one too. That is so beautiful. And this one, love that darker background. I've been kind of drawn to the darker backgrounds the last uh, couple years with paper, like scrapbook paper in fabrics. And this is just beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm taking a peek. I haven't looked at this stuff up close since I unpacked it. So, oh my goodness, just gorgeous. And here is a piece of, this looks like some vintage uh, linen. I'm not sure if it's from a fabric, like a fabric napkin or tablecloth or something, but definitely going to be doing some embroidery on this piece. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh gosh, Loretta, you sent way too much. Way too much. I appreciate and love it all. Don't get me wrong. I might make sure I keep your business card front and center. And then there are some beautiful purple buttons. Love those. Let's dump those out so we can take a peek at them. Just pretty, pretty, pretty purple buttons. Makes me smile. Love them. All right, and then we have some sequins in here, some purple, different hues of purple, like flower sequins. And to use some of these tinier ones on my block piece, which I'll show you guys again here. These are so fun to use on different uh, slow stitching projects. This kind of adds that really nice um, like pop of glitz a little bit and kind of um, catches your eye. So pretty. And I have the most sweetest little vintage tins. I can keep those items in. So very happy about that. And then we have some circles of fabric. These must be left for, um, from her doing the yo-yos. And I love it because now I can make some yo-yos for my myself and not have to worry about cutting up the fabric so oh wow there is a lot of fabric here this is amazing I love all these different purple hues and the different patterns and designs on that fabric and then here we have some ephemera and I'm just checking the back real quick to make sure something written on the back side okay love these these are just beautiful look at that oh my gosh these are definitely going in my journal most of my supplies for that i left back home in storage but i've already started another tote of different items to add to it so definitely going to be putting those there i might display these actually in my craft room for now my crafting space i should say um because they're just beautiful and i love them loretta thank you so so much for everything the extras that you included and the fabric circles which is great because i can be stitching on these while i am watching some tv with my husband or whatever and i just am so in awe of the beautiful stitching that you did with this block it is just absolutely beautiful i wanted to zoom in so you guys can get like a better peek at this it is just so beautiful and here you can see the little sequins how they kind of catch the light little flower ones that she included there for me so just beautiful it's just I just love this so much so once the collaboration for this year is complete and um, I have all the blocks for my swap partners then I will be doing a separate video showing you guys um, what I plan on doing with my blocks so I'll kind of save that for that video again just one more close peek at this it's just so pretty I love this so much Loretta thank you again for everything all the extra goodies that you sent the fabrics you know the ephemera like this and I just love this so much and I'm just so appreciative that you were so thoughtful and so generous to include all these extra things for me. And I'm so glad that you included your business card because I am all about supporting other makers, creators, stitchers, artists, whatever you want to call um, all of us makers, I guess you could say. So I definitely will have this information linked below in the description box. So please go check out Loretta's YouTube or Etsy and follow her on Instagram and just check out all the beautiful things that she has to offer. So thank you everyone for watching and Loretta again, thank you, thank you so much. This block is just absolutely beautiful and your stitching is just perfect. Thank you everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!